Okay, so we want to understand what Aristotle is doing here in this little excerpt. Uh, he's trying to answer this problem of metaphysics. Uh, and for him, that, that means answering two different questions. What does it mean to exist? And why does the thing exist? Right? These are the two questions he's trying to answer. Uh, the first part of the problem of metaphysics is why does it, uh, what, what does it mean for something to exist? And the second part is why does the thing exist? His answer to the first part is pretty straightforward. It's substance. Now, substance is what exists. If it's not a substance, it doesn't exist. And we might further ask Aristotle, well, what's a substance? And he says, well, you know, it's a composite of form and matter, right? form and matter. Uh, and why a thing exists, uh, for him, that's going to be the four causes, right? the four causes. And we'll get to the four causes uh, next week, right? next time. We'll get to the four causes. In the meantime, let's just focus on the first part of the problem of metaphysics. What does it mean to exist? It means to be a substance. That's what existence is, is to be a substance. Now, his answer is a little different than Plato, of course. Right? Plato thinks uh, existence is explained with form. And that's what it means to really exist, is to be form. Uh, Aristotle is a bit more interested in the particular things. Right? Plato thinks the highest form of existence is this top form, the being, the good, the true, and the beautiful. Uh, Aristotle's like, yeah, this thing here, you know, this thing here that I'm sitting in front of, that's, uh, that's pretty real. Right? I don't need to appeal to uh, some form for that. All right, so uh, let's take a look at what Aristotle has to say uh, in terms of uh, substance and even this relationship between matter and form.